So in question number 43, which of the following statement is wrong? Manitol is stored food in rhodophyce. No, it's a stored food in brown algae that is pheophyce. Algin and carogen are products of algae. Yes, they are phycocolloids produced by the algae. Agar agar is obtained from gelidium and gracilaria. Yes, again, this is a phycocolloid which is obtained from red algae, gelidium and gracilaria. That's why they are known as agarophytes. Chlorella and spirulina are used as space food. Yes, chlorella and spirulina, they are rich in food. They are rich in proteins, so that's why they are used as food by the space travelers. So these three statements, they are correct and this one is wrong because the manitol is present in brown algae. So we will say the answer for this question number is option number 1. Now coming to the question number 44. Cryopreservation of gametes of threatened species can be referred to as. Now, first of all, we must see that there are two types of conservation strategies. One is in situ conservation, that is the conservation in the natural home. And another is ex situ conservation, that is the conservation outside the home. So, what is cryopreservation? Cryopreservation involves preservation of gametes in liquid nitrogen at ultra low temperature that is around minus 96 degree Celsius. Right. So it means the cryopreservation is also a ex situ conservation strategy. So, what would be the right option here? The third one, advanced ex situ conservation of biodiversity. So, the right option for this question is option number 3. So, now let's move on to the next question here.